hello you guys and welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new my name is mandy and today i'm going to go over my july goals and i'm doing that in the format of a july goals page for my planner i have recently realized that we are halfway through the year and you know i just wanted to check in on my goals when it all comes down to it, I honestly feel like my planner is setting me up for those goals that I have. And, you know, I'm not the type of person to make all of my goals at the beginning of the year, and that's all that I'm gonna have the whole year. I know that things change, especially in the season of life I'm in right now. And I'm probably going to change my goals up. I'm probably going to get rid of some or add in new ones and as life changes throughout the year my goals change so what I did was I went through my goals that I have created in the past I think I created a May goals page and at the beginning of the year I created a goals page and I just re-evaluated all of that as I was making this July goals page and I figured out what exactly I wanted for the rest of this year or at least my vision for the rest of this year and this video is going to show you exactly that I have about seven different like sections of my life that I have goals in <laughs> if that sounds about right like I said it sounds just like my planner right my planner could probably have seven seven different sections but it's all so I can organize and maintain a healthy lifestyle in everything that I do as a mom of three. If you are new here or I haven't, if maybe I haven't talked about it very much, I do have three kids. One is seven. Um, my oldest boy is seven. My second is a boy and he is three. And my newest and last child is a girl who is one she's actually 15 months and started walking the other day so all three of my kids you guys actually took their time walking i feel really lucky about that um and i thought maybe she was going to be early because you know everyone else is walking around her but she actually um she is the soonest to walk out of all three of them however she is 15 months i mean I can't ask for any more any more time than that, right? So I do have, I shouldn't even call her a baby anymore, I do have two toddlers and a second grade boy. So I have quite a few goals and I'm sure as we go into the fall and start homeschooling, I will have different goals in that area of my life as well. But what I'm going to do is kind of show you, um, I'm... I basically decorated this page first and then I'm going to be writing in all my goals. So if you just kind of want to end up fast forwarding to see what my actual goals are and how I wrote them in, that's totally fine. In the meantime though, I have this home body seasonal sticker packet here, packet, <laughs> package, uh, booklet really is what it is. And I really love this booklet. Um, I wasn't like the the most keen on the the spring spread or the spring stickers so as you can see I'm like choosing more summery style stickers but I really did want the stickers to be geared more towards my goals which I will talk about later I promise um, it won't be a voiceover I will um, stop talking on this voiceover when that time comes but I just figured I would kind of talk during this time with you guys um, let you get to know me a little bit and my thought process behind this and I'm gonna kind of tell you a little secret which isn't a secret I'm just basically putting it out there now I actually did this page before the one you're seeing now and I didn't like it so if you want to see what that looked like and my thought process around there or around it um, <laughs> let me know in the comments below I may even post it on Instagram and see, like, I just want to show real life, you guys. I love to plan because, like I said, I love to work towards my goals. I love to stay focused. And it's really, really hard to stay focused when you have 
other things going on um, in life that are always trying to get you unfocused, right? I mean, first of all, we have some out there that some instances where people, I shouldn't say people don't, there's just always the fight to stay focused. And I think that if we can have a planner or people in our lives or um, things that are around our house, whatever it is to help us to remember what we're focused on, then I think that's beautiful. And my planner actually does that for me. I find a lot of peace in my planner, but I also find, you know, it can be overwhelming. So basically I wanted to um, just have a page in my planner to help me stay focused. And I'm like, come on, focus, Mandy. What did you start talking about already? So the reason I'm bringing this up is because I actually did um, a paper or an insert here and each section had like a different theme of stickers. And I thought it was going to be really cool just having that. But then once I finished this, I totally did not like the combination of it all. I think I had like a farmhouse theme for home. I had like a springy bloom theme for um, this next section here for marriage. It, it sounds like it would maybe look nice and come together, but it really just looked like a whole bunch of different themes on one page. And I wasn't too really very happy about that. I do have it. I am not going to cry about all the stickers that I that I wasted, quote unquote, but I am actually a lot happier with this. And um, if you want to see that page, let me know. I may even post it on my Instagram. I'm at, I'm at Mandy underscore Chavez chapters on Instagram and um, just to show you guys real life. So anyways, back to the focus here. I have three areas, not sorry, not three, but um, four areas on this side and then on the other side will be, I think, three. I will go into explaining all that in just a few minutes, but I did want to share with you that I decided to use a page from my um, Classic Happy Planner monthly layout. It's the Doodles, um, or they call it the Doodles calendar um, planner, I'm sorry, but and the um, obviously the homebody seasonal sticker pack sticker book. So I will try to link those below so you guys have access to any of that. And I also have a lot of other things linked in my description box below. Just some things that I use in my planner every day. You may not see them in this video, but they're just I always like to have it there in case I get a question on anything. So check that out. Um, and other than that, I'm just curious, have you guys like kept track of your goals all year long so far? Are you like, oh wait, what were my goals? I really should check in on those, kind of like I've been um, doing every couple months or so. And let me know if you guys like these goal videos because I would love to know if they're helpful and if I should do more of them. I'm not sure if I can keep up with them on a monthly basis, but I do have it as a goal of mine to check in on my goals almost more on a weekly basis and if i'm doing that i might be able to do more monthly goal focus style um videos if you guys are interested in that so other than that um i will go into explaining these goals in a few minutes and i just would love for you to share with me if you guys do anything regular for your goals any tips you have on checking in with them, um, focusing on like action steps, because I'm just kind of going with the flow here. I don't have like a goal guide or anything. I know there are many out there, but I just kind of write down what I'm wanting in that area. And then a few things that I could be doing in the next month or so that could get me closer to that goal. And then every time I check in with my goals, say it's um, monthly or quarterly, I kind of do the same thing and then I write down a few action steps. And after making this, this is just the motivation, right? But after making this, actually going through with those actions. So that's my plan and that is basically, hopefully, what is going to get me even closer to my goals.
All right, you guys, I have made my goals page for July, 2021. The basically the third quarter of this year, I am going to be referring back to this page a lot. Basically, I have my home section here, section for my marriage, a section for the family, and a section for personal. I may kind of make these stand out a little bit more, but for now, that's what I have. I also have a health and fitness section, relational section, and business and social. So I'll just go over it real quick. As you can see, my home goal is to have a clean and cozy home that may entail a 15 minute daily home care routine. Basically like putting together project plans and you know doing the research and all that with my husband, having family meetings and creating um, just routines to keep the house tidy and stuff like that. And, and routines are always changing. So maybe I should, you know, refer to them more as flows, but with different seasons and things going on, they're just always, you know, changing and just, we always have to adjust and create new ones. So for this one, it's for our marriage, just to grow in faith together, to be on the same page, to have regular time together. Um, so basically the steps for that would be maybe like a Bible and book study to find an end of, um, I'm sorry, every other week brunch and coffee date to kind of discuss a lot of that stuff that we read or like want to do for our home and stuff like that. And to plan out monthly, monthly dates as well. And that's also a goal is if we are able to do this, where we just kind of have an every other week brunch or lunch or something like that then one really good like date where both of us take part in the plan so maybe one person plans the um like eating arrangements and then one person plans the activity or something like that but just putting that one out there um i think is an attainable goal um our family my goal is to just make beautiful memories with these kids and us together to grow in our faith together and to have adventures and outings, which I guess could part partially be making the memories. But in order to do that, just having a family Bible time, having family meetings a few times a week, um, and having every other weekend outings, I think would be a good idea. For personal, I want to just get daily alone time and just know that it's happening so I don't have to wonder if it's gonna happen that day and wonder if I needed to have taken it already. Um, to have personal and faith growth as well as just to continue working on my routines here at home with the kids and just you know doing things for myself so working on my morning routine reading a book 20 minutes a day and just getting some daily morning bible journal and gratitude time in has been helpful for me and just making sure that that stays as part of my personal time for health and fitness I want to lose 10 pounds by the end of the year I want all of my meals, and I'm not saying I'm not going to have cheat meals or, you know, um, like enjoy some other foods, but for the most part on a daily basis, knowing that all my meals a day are healthy options. So we struggle with that for dinner right now and um, to have my regular workout routine. So to meet those goals, I'm going to continue. I do a Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday workout routine. Summer is kind of getting in the mix of that, but I'm making sure that I get that done. And it allows me a Wednesday rest day in there and then the weekends rest and more time for family. Just to get a healthier dinner plan, maybe research something for healthier dinners. We do um, like a mail service dinner um, where the dinners come in the mail sometimes, about three meals a week. And I love it. I love not having to think about it. I love having the ingredients on hand. But as many of you know that sometimes those meals aren't necessarily the healthiest even the healthy ones still have quite a bit of fat and I have my macros that I'm trying to meet and also weekly measurements and progress pics um I did not put logging my food in on a daily basis oh, I need to but I am just so tired of that you guys so that's probably something I might have to revisit for this but for now we're going to move on to relational that's just like you know relationships um besides like my husband and my family and kids I just really want to get more girl adult time with my friends and couple time um for me and Juan so just making monthly plans and making sure that we have a regular sitter for that maybe working with the other couples or something like that 
And then finally business and social. I really want to like sell the printables that I'm making. I I love them. I want to share them. Um, but I also feel like it could be a possibility for some kind of, you know, like side business for me. So I need to look into that. And I really just want to grow this awesome YouTube community. Um, I found just a lot of like, it's just really cool to have you guys out there. So in order to do those things, I need to continue creating printables that I love, which I am. And then I need to actually open up a shop or a website. And I'm in, currently kind of researching that. And then just continuing, you know, figuring out the mix of my, you know, routines at home with my YouTube routine, stuff like that. So, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this. My next video will hopefully be, if not the next one, coming up very soon. How I um, try to attain all of these goals using my planner and just kind of tracking them and stuff like that. So, I hope that you will subscribe for um, more and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I post a video. I do post Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 5 a.m. So they're up there in the morning all day for you guys. And I just love to hear from you guys. So comment below and just tell me, you know, what are your goals for the rest of this year? Are you guys on track with them? Does this help you um, with your, you know, motivation towards your goals? Have your goals changed like mine? I know mine are quite a bit different. Um, this goes along with goals that I've made at the beginning of the year, as well as my couple different check-ins, as you can see, beginning of the year, and then this was a May check-in, and now I have my July check-in. So I hope you enjoyed the video and that you will come back for my next one, and I'll see you guys really soon. Have a wonderful, beautiful, awesome day. Bye.